Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Model Kit Review. Today, we are looking at Nichimo's Nakajima KI-43-1, and the code name for the KI-43 was Oscar. This is Nichimo's kit number S-4820. The Nichimo Oscar was produced in the early 80s, and it's really representative of the state of the art of the Japanese model kit makers during that time period. And really, as such, it was world class when it debuted. In this review, we are going to be going over the instructions. The kit plastic parts will be taking a look at surface detailing and small part detailing. We're going to look at the different sprues that are in the model. We'll also look at the clear parts and the decals and then give the conclusions at the end. Starting off with the instructions. Step one details the engine compartment here. There's a lot of small parts. This engine should honestly be a gem once it's completed and detail painted. Moving on to the interior. Again, there are just a lot of small parts here. Very detailed and then this should look great. Very comprehensive here. Moving on to the sidewall detail, uh, this step kind of details out how to mount the engine to the firewall and then the firewall to the floor of the cockpit. Also details out the painting on the sidewalls. The next step of the instructions has you mounting the interior and engine to the fuselage halves and then closing everything up. It also has you attaching the tail planes. And again, detail looks very nice. Moving on to the next step, it's building the wings. And again, it's not overly parts heavy. Everything looks like it should go together nicely. And then the final step in the instructions has you mounting the wing to the fuselage and then some of the detail parts. I will probably deviate pretty heavily and build up the airframe first and paint it and then add the detail parts at the end, the landing gear, the prop, the antennas. I usually save those off until after painting. Moving on to the marking options, there are several marking options that are available in the kit. We'll look at the decals in a little bit, but that may influence how this goes. This is more decal marking guide options. Taking a look at the plastic parts. First off, we're gonna look at the sprue A, and this is the wings. Man, you can tell right away the surface detailing on these is very busy with all the rivets. They're small enough that they should look good under a coat of paint, especially if you're gonna do like a solid color camouflage. The fabric detailing on the ailerons is just fantastic. There is a little bit of a graininess to the surface detailing, and you can see it in this picture. It has some very fine, almost like a pebbly surface to it that needs to be polished a bit. I like the fact that this kit has the landing light cut out and a clear part included for the landing light. This is just an overall view of the wings, top and bottom. And again, the detailing looks nice. There is some flash on the parts and they will need to be cleaned up. These are the fuselage halves. And again, the detailing is, it's got fairly fine engraved detail, and then it also has the fine rivet detail. Moving on to the detail sprues, this is sprue B, and it has the tail planes, a couple of pilot figures. The detailing on the pilot figures is really soft. They're very toy-like. And we'll take a look here. The engine cowling looks really nice. I like the hollow gun barrels. There is an ejection pin mark on the upper lip of the opening that needs to be cleaned up, but the detailing looks great. Looking at the tail planes, again, we have nice fabric detail. The wheels are fairly simple. They're gonna take a little bit of careful painting around the rims. You can see some of the ejector pen marks here and some of the flash on the smaller parts in the interior. This should clean up nice and they are detailed nicely, but they will take some cleanup. Moving on, you can see there's some ejector pin marks on the landing gear. These look like they're on the door side of things, and so they're going to be fairly hidden. 
Moving on to Spruce C, we've got the fuel tanks, engines, a lot of detail parts for the interior, and we'll take a closer look at some of these. The fuel tanks look nice. There is some detailing on those. You can see some small interior parts here as well. Really, this is some, some very fine detailing. The engine parts, and they're really going to turn out nice under a coat of paint. These are the engines themselves. The molding is crisp on those. And once cleaned up and painted, those should look really great. Though on the KI-43, the engine oil cooler hides a lot of your engine detail. Moving on to the instrument panel. Man, this part is really well detailed, as are the rudder pedals just beside it. It's just very, very nice. That should look great once detailed. On to the clear parts. These look fantastic. Very clear, nice framing. They should be fairly easy to mask and they look to be fairly correct in shape as well. Next up, we have the decals. This is a weak area of the kit. These decals are just really old. As such, it looks like the white has yellowed a bit over time. Also, the national markings are a bit vibrant, uh, very orangey, and to me, they don't look quite right, so I'll probably replace these when I do build the kit. In conclusion, Nichimo's Oscar really does hold up well over time. It's well detailed. With a little bit of effort, they turn out really, really nicely. And they're cheap. I got this kit secondhand for less than $10 at the local hobby store. The surface texture on some of the parts is a little bit pebbly and would really benefit from some light sanding and polishing. The detailing on this kit, some may find it a little bit overdone but I think it will look nice under a coat of paint and it should build pretty quickly. There is some flash and ejector pen marks on some of the detail parts, but again, a little bit of cleanup and these should certainly net a nice result. The clear parts are beautiful. The decals on this kit let it down a bit just due to their age. I think you would be better served by simply replacing them with aftermarket decals. One last criticism I have, the instructions are completely in Japanese. I don't read Japanese, so I will have to look up some Hasegawa KI-43 instructions in order to determine the color callouts for the interior of the aircraft. I would love to know what you guys think. If anyone out there has built Nichimo's KI-43 Oscar, please feel free to comment in the comment section below and let us know how the build went. Recommended for modelers with some experience. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative, and until next time, model on.